Alright guys, welcome to your 31st tutorial in the UDK. And in this tutorial, I'm probably going to be goofing around some more with static meshes. I'm actually probably going to be finishing my castle. Say that three times fast. Finishing castle, finishing castle, finishing castle. Got it. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is I added this little column right here. So now I think it's time to add some flavor, as I would say, to the front walls here. So let's go ahead and open up our content browser. And let's go ahead and search for those arches. I saw some arches earlier that I kind of liked. And there were these ones right here, these arch walls. Or maybe these ones. Ooh, I like them both so much. What one do I get? What one do I get? We'll just stick with this one for now. So go ahead, grab that, drag it out. And the very first thing we're going to notice is that if we scroll out of here, we probably want to push it back a little bit and we still can't see it and that's because we need to rotate it let's go ahead and rotate this 180 and check it out my lion's face is now facing the front but as you can see now I could leave it like that and make it kinda of like a window looking thing but I really don't want to do that I want to grow it by a little bit so let me grow it by like 2 let's see how that looks 2.0 and let's go ahead and push that back for some perspective. Hey, where'd my other views go? Oh, there you're all, you little rascal. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this, and we'll go ahead and I don't know if I want to set it right on the ground yet. Yeah, I think I do. Let's go ahead and pop that right on the ground, and I actually can do that in this view right here. And now in my front view, which is actually my side view go ahead and put that like right there looks pretty good you guys think that looks good actually want to pull that out just a tid bit just like that so that looks pretty good and actually I changed my mind I actually want to drag that up again I probably should have planned out these tutorials probably should have done a lot of things probably should have went to college probably should have you know what never mind so anyways let's go ahead and uh, just alt this and I think this is looking pretty good to be honest and make sure we're not looking at any of our orthographic views because we want those to be nice and uneven this is looking pretty epic to be honest pretty darn good so now with that being done let's say that uh, I'm just gonna make a game called find the statue and this is level one so the goal of this game is our player is gonna start right here and his goal is to find a statue so in this level we're gonna go ahead and put the statue right here so let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna put this statue on a pillar so if we go up in our content browser and just drag out grab like a pillar or stand or something and let me look ooh this one looks pretty cool or do I want to use this one uh 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 eeny meeny miny mo this one it is and go ahead and drag that out and it is incredibly tiny right now actually this one looks a little more epic yeah there we go so go ahead and I'm gonna grow this to like oh uh, let's say let's give it a nice 2.0 and alright looks looking pretty good Bucky so go ahead put it right there make sure that's lined up in our side view which hey good enough and now in our top view we can make sure it's lined up right where we want it to which right there looks pretty darn good so now what I'm gonna need to do is now that I verify that it is in, indeed on the ground go ahead and put a statue on it because again the name of this game find the statue so we of course need to go open up our content browser and find a statue for ooh this one looks pretty good eeny meeny miny mo okay I'll choose that one hello statue you're a little too close to my camera so what I'm gonna do is drag you over there and make sure you're sitting right on top of this little fella right here and now once I got that complete drag you over right there and you should be placed perfectly what I could do is rotate you and that's actually what I'm gonna do in my top view I'm gonna rotate you just a little bit so you're like uh uh look at them dance uh 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 Drop the beat, boom, 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 boom. Feel the bass, boom, 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 boom. Club and boom, boom. Okay, <laughs> okay, enough of me uh, goofing around. So actually, this is looking pretty cool right there. So uh, yeah. So our game is almost complete. But check it out. If we were to play this game right now, 
then everything would be incredibly dark. I mean, look at our castle. This took like 15 minutes to create, aside from me talking about just like stupid random stuff. So imagine what you can create in like an hour or two. You can, might be able to add like podiums with fire and more windows up here, and make the castle look better. But for now, the only thing I have left to do in this castle is I'm going to add some lights right along here. I'm going to be adding two lights. The first kind, I'm going to be adding just game 3D model lights. Now whenever we add those 3D model lights, they of course aren't going to act like real lights in our game. So then what we're going to need to do is add real lights on top of them so our player can actually see. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you guys have to wait for the next tutorial where we're going to be finishing up our castle, adding some lights, and actually playing the game find the statue. So uh, that's what you have to look forward to, but for now, this is all you guys get. Just a plain old castle. So in the next story, like I said, we're going to be finishing everything up, so make sure to check that one out. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.